Hello, I'm Paul Hand and welcome badminton fans to the vibrant, bustling cosmopolitan metropolis of Bangkok. After a tough 2020 that saw the cancellation of most tournaments, the badminton world is keenly poised and ready to spring back into action. Colossal Impact Arena here is uh, part of Asia's leading exhibition centre. It really is a gorgeous facility, huge. Bangkok's HSBC BWF World Tour Badminton Extravaganza commences today with the Onyx Thailand Open following this next time this time next week by the Toyota Thailand Open. Both Super Thousand tournaments. Action culminates with the belated HSBC BWF World Tour Finals. That starts on Wednesday the 27th of January. Each Super Thousand event, of course, offering a cool million US dollars in prize money. And uh, there's our featured matches to bring you today from Show Court 1, a top 40 women's singles Asian European clash involving the Thai number two. The Bang Busanan Ong Ban Runfan takes on Sabrina Jacquet. She leads 3 0 there head to head. Ranky Reddy and Ponapa have contested a world tour event, haven't contested a world tour event together in over 14 months. They won't be taken lightly, though. Expect some fireworks in that mixed doubles with Ranky Reddy's power and Ponapa's experience. Third up in men's doubles, it's a relatively new Thai pairing. They've got their work cut out against the fifth seeds, Asian Games silver medalist Alfian and Ardianto. Former world number three, Anthony Sinasuka Ginting, stormed past Axelson and Antonsen to the uh, Indonesian Masters title early last year. Today he sees, uh, seeks a hat trick of wins over the Korean heel Kwon Hee. And then for our fifth match, we get to revel in the spellbinding skills of the world number one, Tai Tzu Ying, who takes on young 18-year-old Benyapa Emsard in a first meeting there. And a highlight in the second five matches with only two world ranking spots between them could be a top 15 men's singles featuring Wang Chirouin and uh, Sai Pranith, the world number 13 against the world number 15 there. So there's 11 players from Thailand that are bound all over show court one's order of play today. Plenty to uh, keep you busy. Something for everybody there. 38 first round matches across three courts on the order of play who will safely navigate their way into round two. So there we are. The stage is set. Looks absolutely glorious. So the stage is set and we're all ready to go. We're just waiting for our players. There's the women's singles draw. And uh, we're in the second quarter. Where uh, Busanan Ombang Runfant, the Thai number two, takes on Sabrina Jacquet, the Swiss number one, in their fourth ever meeting. And uh, well, it certainly is a very open quarter this one. Paul Hand here alongside badminton legend Morton Frost. Great to be working with you again, Morton. Thank you so much. It's so good to be back, isn't it? After so many months. Good to see badminton back on track and uh, we are looking forward to, to the next three weeks, that's for sure. Yeah, there's so much to unfold, isn't there? So much to catch up on, so many questions that need answering. And uh, well, we'll be keeping you informed as we head through the next three weeks of that. Uh, wall-to-wall -wall badminton so the players will be marooned in the holding areas ready to uh, explode into action it's going to be three of those very special weeks in store for you and of course the action culminates with that thrilling climax on sunday in our final here of the thailand open and then we do it all again over the next two weeks as well so lots of enticing first round matches today poised to unfold around the hall waiting for our players and uh, what's interesting prior to the start of the tournament unable to make the trip were uh, Akane Yamaguchi and Nozomi Okuhara from Japan two Japanese seeds in the women's singles and uh, well it's quite prominent in this one because Okuhara would have been in this quarter of the draw sheet so uh, suddenly then it opens up so uh, Umban Rufan the tie number two if she can come past Sabrina Jacquet today as she projected to being world ranked uh, far higher. Well, she might well play Sainanewal in the next match and then possibly even 
Kusala v Sindhu in the quarterfinals, Morton. It's, it's certainly opened up for her. Yeah, I think you're getting way ahead of yourself here. <laughs> <laughs> look, they've, had, they've had so long in quarantine to look at yeah, the draw. You, you never know. So. You never know what's going to happen. That's for sure. Absolutely. So, uh, so let's see. But uh, yes, there is no doubt that uh, Umpan Rumpan is uh, is favourite today against uh, Sabrina Shake from Switzerland. Um, she has uh, won all the three encounters between the two players in uh, two games. So um, only the uh, last one was a 17 and 17, otherwise it was really quite easy. Yeah, so it's always been a pretty comfortable matchup for the Thai, hasn't it? But, uh, you know, with that again, maybe a little bit of expectation. They've not played for quite a while competitively, these guys. Yeah, that's, that's the unknown factor. It's all in the written script, isn't it, sport? Let's see. The Sports Authority of Thailand, the National Sports Development Fund, Toyota, the Ministry of Tourism and Sports, the Department of Disease Control, the Royal Thai Air Force, Tonburi Healthcare Group, Index Creative Village Public Company Limited, Plan B, Plan B. Arnoma Grand, Grand Hotel, Hotel Bangkok, Bangkok. The, the Badminton, Badminton Association of Thailand, and the Badminton, Badminton World Federation. Well, this really is a glorious uh, infrastructure, this impact arena, that feeds and nurtures this massive futuristic-looking facility in Nong Thaburi. It's just cavernous inside here. And here's the terrific light show setting stage and rocking the scene for our historic three-week Asian leg. Thailand being the first country to host three consecutive premier tournaments. Let's enjoy the lights and the music. Gentlemen, welcome to the Yonex Thailand Open, part of HSBC BWF World Tour Super 1000. The competition starts now. First rounds. On court one, women's single. Busanan Ung Bamrung Pan from Thailand. Here she comes, ever gracious, very Versus popular figure on tour. Sabrina Jagan from Fan. Switzerland. 24 years old. Born and bred in Bangkok. Birdman Horan Bay from Belgium. So Mr. Wayana from Indonesia. And here's the Swiss miss, Sabrina Jacquet, world number 49, 33 years of age, the Swiss number one. Tough matchup for her, this one. She won't be comfortable. Never taken a game off of her Thai opponent before in the six they've contested. The stony silence. The action just about to unfold here then on show court one. First glimpse of our umpire, Bert van Horenbeek of Belgium. Red. It's red. This side. Service. Have a good match. There we are. So, uh, Thai athlete 
won the toss and elected to stay on her side. And Sabrina Jacquet will serve to get us underway. He's a real character, Bert, for those of you that know him. Lovely man, full of stories. I shared a bus ride with him on the way here. Anyway, turning attention to this one, first round action between, in the second quarter of the women's singles draw, Busanan Ombang Rumfan in this round of 32. World number 12 at the moment has been as high as oh, 11 in the world back in August 2017. Thai Masters at the beginning of the year. But uh, while she didn't have any Versus spectacular performances throughout the season, she's been very consistent in terms of time number two. And uh, we'll make the semi finals of the Barcelona Spain Masters earlier this year as well. And turning our attention to her opponent, the world number 49. Uh, she has been, in fact, as high as 30 in the world. Uh, that was back in June 2017. A very experienced player, nine years senior to her opponent today. She resides in Biel, a, a lovely town, 40 miles southwest of Basel in Switzerland. She's 1 meter 69 tall, and uh, well, she's been a Swiss badminton icon for quite a few years now at the uh, Swiss Championship. She's been the dominator. 11 mixed doubles titles, 11 women's doubles, and seven women's singles titles for uh, Jacquet back home. And uh, well, she played at the uh, 2012 and 2016 Olympic Games and nine consecutive world championships as well. So we say hello to Wayana, service judge from Indonesia, alongside the uh, Belgium umpire. But. Uh, I guess, Morton, the best result for Jacquet was a big push to a semi-final in the latest Russian Open in the summer of 2019, yet to pass the second round this season. Yeah, that's correct. Um, it's, um, it's, she has been um, participating in tournaments at Challenge and at International Series level where her opponent is, is playing really? higher level of tournaments, and I think that's what we will see in this match. But it will be interesting to see uh, what will happen, as you said, we, we have been out of badminton for 10 months or so. So what has happened in between? That's always oh, very interesting to, to see. Let so looking forward to this one. Yeah, and with, a, with a lack of match play, of course, for everybody comes big opportunity for this 33-year-old uh, Swiss. Big chance to upset the 12th ranked player in the world. And well, players aren't match sharp, they're undercooked, they all crave matches to tighten up their game. So the self trust uh, might be just a little bit lacking. And of course, that's a prerequisite to go deep here, isn't it? You've got to trust yourself, back yourself, manage your energy. We've got a three week slog here. Very easy to overdo it prior to the event. We've seen players on social media platforms working so hard in their rooms and trying to last minute prepare, but sometimes the, the nerves, well, easy to expend too much. Here we go then. Women's singles, first round action to get underway. It's gonna be the uh, Swiss athlete at the top of your picture to get us underway here. Umbang Rumpan is a, a more fluent player. She's Ladies moving a little bit better on court. Her technique on right. is better. So Sabrina it's gonna be a tall order for the Swiss player. And on my left. Busanan Ungbam Rungpan, Thailand. Sabrina de Jacquet to serve Lovo. Blake. Serves over. One love. Well, the last match, Morton, was back in the Thailand Here Open 2018 go. between these two, and uh, this player won fairly comfortably, as you said before, but it was, in the end, a retirement from Jacquet in mid-second game. Yeah, she's been injury-prone for some years and uh, has been pulling out of uh, a number of tournaments due to injuries, so um, I'm, I'm sure in, in that sense it's been quite beneficial to her that she's had this break and been able to nurse uh, these uh, niggling uh, 
I would say, injuries or whatever is uh, going on. So, and, uh, and, and Morton, sorry to intrude, I, I, I'm always fascinated because I just think for, for most Europeans, it's, it's like a, a, a mental wall to try and knock down, isn't it, when you're against the Asian quality players such as uh, Ombang Rufan. You can see no. she's uh, made a nervy start, her Jacquet. Tie number two, off to an absolute flyer here. Oh. Well, that'll be settling for Jacquet. Gets the scoreboard so reeling a little bit. Where uh, this player wheel spump away from the start line and of course when you're chasing the scoreboard it's easy to kind of start second guessing yourself and doubting your abilities can Jacquet score more here yeah good play there by uh, there go, very very Sharp Five, drop one. shot from the uh, back line. And I think she's settling in really well on court, the Thailand player. Oh. And it's really tough to see how Sabrina can sort of dent Six, the defense one. of Humbang uh, Rumpan. It, uh, we can already see that she's trying her attacking shots, but they're not really working that well. And uh, Umbang Rumpan is reading them quite easily. And I guess when you've been stuck at home a lot with what's happened, Seven, you know, one. everybody knows the COVID story, and it's still very relevant, of course. We don't like talking too much about it, but you know it's difficult for Jacque, Swiss player back home, not too many athletes to train with, you'd imagine, or certainly of this kind of caliber. That's true. That's a good point. A little Zoom greedy one. there, the tie. Two, seven. But it is interesting between these two players that uh, Sabrina Chaké has uh, represented Switzerland twice at the Olympics in 12 and 16, and obviously looks like she's uh, having a very good chance of doing it again in uh, in Tokyo. So that's three in a row. But uh, Umbang Runpan, who is a better player, but also in a better badminton country, has not represented her country at the Olympics yet. And that, I know, Three, is her big, seven. big dream. She was immensely disappointed when she did not qualify in 16. Yeah, at the moment, she's uh, in contention, isn't she? She is number two on the list. Yeah. Uh, but the number three is just one world ranking spot uh, behind her. Yeah, Chu Chu Wong is very, very <laughs> close, biting her heels. So it's going to be a massive fight between these two to qualify for the Olympics. But of course, this tournament, however, is not counting towards the Olympics. It will only start with the Swiss Open and the German Open later on in March. Hey. Beautiful point there from the European. Four, very encouraging. Seven. Sabrina Jacquet was saying how glorious it's been playing badminton, her long career. She's from the French part in Switzerland, but of course uh, all her coaches would speak in German, so she had to learn the language. She also speaks English as well, thanks to badminton. That's why she's reticent to stop playing. She's enjoyed what badminton's given to her. It's given her a nice broad perspective in, in life. And she's very passionate about the game. Just loves playing. 14 years on the international circuit. It's been a great journey, she says. Seven, hey. oh. Well, of course, all of those 14 years, Morton, have given her a lot of experience Seven. on tour. You know, Seven. there's uh, very few active players as, uh, I say elderly, that's not fair, is it? But 33 years of age, you know. You Pew Yin and Linda. Zichiri, Sena Newell. She's working her way very nicely back into this match. She was uh, was a seven one down, and now it's a six seven. Oh. 
And she actually started out more of a doubles player in Bolton as well and sort of made the transition to singles only later on in her career, I'm told. Which is quite an unusual way. It's usually yeah. the other way around, goes from singles to doubles. Gorgeous silky hands feels there from the tie number two. Yeah. Sabrina was really caught a lot on that one, and the only option she had was to play that cross court uh, at the net. But it was played from a very, very low position and made it virtually impossible to get it over. out that's really well left yeah that was tight wasn't it it was close Ten, she just six. seems to have you sense a kind of extra gear she's smooth at this tempo isn't she like she's ready to shift up really fast and intense should she need to on bang room fan yeah she's moving better on court her footwork is is lighter than sabrina's and as i also said earlier her technique is is also better look at that one that's just out but she was able to get that one back. That's a sign of very nice technique. But this is tight, very tight. Well, it was the Swiss athlete that had a pretty edgy start. She settled well with uh, a run of five consecutive points, but it's still on bound Rumfan with a tidy lead. 11-7, we head to the turn. So it's interesting to see that uh, Sabrina Sheke has not got uh, a personal coach and uh, that you see from a lot of the uh, uh, European bands and nations that they cannot afford it and haven't got the support from the uh, uh, National Association in able to do her, uh, to, to bring a coach for, for tournaments like this. Yeah, that's good play. Very, ag very aggressive at the net. She looked like a lone wolf, didn't she, on the on the turn there? But it's becoming a, a familiar sight. It's all about resource funding, and the tie certainly rich in badminton history. A couple of good points from Jacke though here. Fairly explosive. She's. Uh, Obviously, use the uh, mid-game interval to great effect. Oh. Yeah, sometimes uh, Shake well finds it a little bit difficult to control her shots uh, in terms of length. We've seen. Uh, a few shots going uh, long on the back line. I think three, maybe even four, has gone long out of 12 points, which is 30% uh, yeah, of the points. Which takes us nicely on to the normal question I ask you about this stage. Morning, have you sensed any drift yet? 
Um, <laughs> not yet. Too early, right? It's too early to say, even for a man with a radar as yeah. honed as yours. <laughs> yes. I, I think possibly that Long Bang Rumpan is uh, playing it a little bit safer than Shaké uh, is doing. And you'd imagine the Swiss player will, will have to take those kind of risks, won't she? You know, she's got to play, you sense, at the ceiling of her game and hope that Omban Rungfan is, is sort of more towards the floor of hers. Yeah, she, she's got to take a little bit more chances and, and we've seen in the last few points that she's made uh, unforced errors. But I think there might be a slight uh, drift uh, from left to right. 10, 14 as uh, we look uh, down on the court. Nicely done there, roaring with delight, Jack Kate. Pleased with that one, just rolling her ankle around a little after that one, might have tweaked it a bit. It was gorgeous. Yeah, good interception there. Read the shot nicely. Yeah, that's a good return of serve. Very nice. So armed with a four-point cushion then on Bang Rumfan in the driving seat. Once again, we see the same side. It's, it's going quite wide on that sideline. So possibly there's a drift going from the left to the right. Yeah, she needed a little bit more drift in her favour there, didn't she? Tie number two, that one just missing the court. But generally, she's playing with a little bit more precision and consistency. Hey. Oh. Oh. 13, so it will be interesting to see if uh, Jacquet can close the gap a little bit more. She's always been trailing three or four points, but this is very important. This point in this opening game is important. She's got to start catching up. And can she close the gap to two points, maybe one point? Then it could become very close at the end. And again, going back to four. Yeah, she's good at keeping the Swiss at arm's length is the tie. Done a, a good job of managing her European opponent. Good play, really, really nicely played. Very well hold of the net and then the flick down the line into the deep forehand corner of Umpang Rumpang. Very well played by uh, Sabrina Shake. So can she do it this time, close it to two? Otherwise, I think if uh, Umbang Rumpang gets this opening game, that will steady her nerves and, you know, get her into the tournament and be a lot more comfortable in the second game. Mm, that one's missed as well. So back to four points again. 18, She's doing well, Umbang Rumpang, just uh, keeping it steady. That's unusual. She's moving her foot as and when she's serving. Normally we have this uh, rule that uh, the shot is uh, hit above 115 and then you know it's a, it's a fault. But uh, here it was the foot. Good play by Umbang Rumpan. Getting it early, nice turn at the net. Over. 
So disguised. Beautifully done. Long. Twenty game point fifteen. Five of them then. Game points that is for Busanan Ombang Rumfan. Serves over. Sixteen twenty. So there it is then. 17 minutes was all she needed. The tie number two on Bang Run Fan marches to 21 16 lead in that opening game with a really fluid performance. Carrying on the way she normally does against uh, today's opponent. Strong start for the tie number two. Well, Sabrina Jacquet at the start of game two. She had an encouraging sort of flurry midway through that opening game of five consecutive points, but unable Second really game. to build from there. A familiar scoreline at the moment. At the start of game two. Over one love. Well, what do you make of what she has to do, Jacque? It's, it's a very difficult. Uh, she's in a very difficult position. Uh, she's got to stay uh, patient and keep her shots in. Um, I like to see her add on more pressure on on the back line. Um, Umbang Rumpan have a tendency to play uh, drop shots as soon as she's under pressure from uh, on, the, on the back line, which so means that Shake can move forward One, and try to intercept and get there very early and add on even more pressure. When I look at uh, Umbang Rumpan, um, I think she's a very good player. I've seen her for years now. And um, I would like to see her develop her game a little bit more. She, uh, she's a very good runner, as we say. She's a very good retriever. But I'm still looking to see whether and where she can find more winning points. Because when she's playing better players, she is in the similar situation as what Sabrina Shake is in at the moment. That she can't score the points. When Umbang Runpa is, are playing top ten players, she's finding it very, very hard to find the places where she can score points. And I think she needs to develop that kind of game as well, so she can mix it up a little bit more. 
Yeah, she's been sort of loitering in that sort of ranking for quite a while. Hasn't yeah, she? Right. there's anything wrong with that. It's a, it's a fabulous ranking, 12 in the world for the tie number two. And she's been as high as 11 back in August 2017. But knocking on the door of the top 10, just so hard to get inside, though. Yeah, the top 10 in women's singles is extremely good. It's extremely hard and competitive. And uh, for players like Umbang Rumpang, she's got to start Same developing over. winning shots in order to sort of break through and into Three, the top 10. Morton, on that basis with what you're saying, is it about her upping her Five. risk profile, Three. taking, taking yes, more risk? Yes, exactly. Uh, she's got the technique, she's got the movement, she's quick enough. Um, I have to add a little bit more sting into her shots um, and then possibly anticipate a little bit more, take a little bit more chances and, and, and work it that way. At the moment, she's playing very steady, almost too safe. Nice contrast of pace yeah, change there right. from Four, on by five. Fan. Yeah, good block shot, good follow up. But this is one of the shots I would have liked to see her kill rather than block it at the net. Um, but you know, it's, it's it's a matter of taste. <laughs> I get you there, I resonate with that because faster athletes would have got that block, wouldn't they? Yeah, she would have, uh, she played a very nice smash down the line and the follow up and she knew it was coming straight back and all that and it was a loose shot from uh, Sabrina and still it only uh, resulted in a block shot and not a kill at the net. Seven, four. And here we saw an example of uh, pressure on the back line into that deep backhand corner of Umbang Rumpan. Not able to get Eight. out of trouble. She's got, Four. she's forced to play it towards the, the front of the court, towards the net. And then you can see Sabrina's there waiting, waiting for it and killing it. It's a very, very fine start for the uh, Swiss player here in the second game. Well, it's all about keeping momentum now. She can ill afford mistakes like that, Jacquet, but she's been playing some good badminton to get the lead here in game two. Can she do something she's never done before and take a game off today's opponent? Found it. Jack A went for a call, so we're going to go for a Something challenge by the looks of the gesture. Call in. First time in the match, Morton, this one. It is. Just checking out the I technology works. <laughs> yeah, let's see if it works. Um, I think she's got a good point here. It's well left, and uh, I think it uh, might be. Uh, yes, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's out. Oh, right out. Yeah. Oh. Pay attention, Lions Judge, come on. <laughs> They're normally, uh, they're really they're good. Really yeah. Yeah. Mesmeric with their precision, the judges, but that was. But I could see he was uh, hesitating five. a bit, so maybe he was uh, yeah, uncertain about that Eight. one. So it was a good challenge. Ten, five. It's a worrying looking game too then for Ombang Rune fan here. Yeah, that 
Williams. Really, really well played. Good cross court drop shot. Very nicely played. So to the turn in Shake that breaks into the front. 11 points to five. Surprise. Hairstyle malfunction. Perhaps the uh, one of the bands broke. But she's got looks like uh, three hair bands going on there to keep it nice and tight. Clips as well. She's done that a few times. So respectfully races out to court then to re-engage with a six-point cushion. Jacquet in front in game two. That's wide. And this is one of the few times here in the second game where Umbang Rumpang is forcing a mistake from uh, Xiaoke in, in terms of sheer pressure and pace. And again, extending her lead, it's a six point uh, cushion now for Xiaoke. Things really looking up here, and she looks animated and more expressive, more relaxed, more fluid. But Monchi keeps going down that right side of the court, and narrowly missing. I think she's got to, you know, rein it in a little there. Aim maybe a, a foot to the left a little more when she's going down that side, right? Yeah, or stay on the safe side. Puts more pressure on the deep forehand corner rather than trying to go on the backhand side. Yeah, we, another one. It's almost as if she's sort of blissfully unaware of where the drift is going, although it's subtle. And of course, you know, her mind is probably in turmoil about other things maybe, I don't know, but she's, she's unaware of this, seemingly. Yeah, good shot. Good interception. Clipping that one cross court from uh, Sabrina Shake. And that's well played. Very steep. tell you in the three previous encounters this player has never got more than 17 points in any one game against Ombang Rumpa. But uh, things looking up here. doing what her opponent did to her in the opening game, keeping that four-point bolster is Jacquet. Very nicely done. Oh, wow, that was well oh. Well, hopefully she'll get the message now. <laughs> that one drifted about three metres off target. Ah, that was a poor surf. Very, very poor surf. Hitting it. Whoa! 
Do you think well, more, that Jacquet is fearful the... of the forehand of the tie? Is that why she's not going to that side so much? Um, I don't think so. I think it's um, it's routine. It's something that she usually do. She's uh, attacking uh, the backhand side of uh, her opponent, oh. and uh, it's just part of her game. 13, 14. Yeah, I guess it's tough to break those habits, isn't it? Arguably one of the best rallies of the match there. Terrific stuff from both. 14 old. And with it comes parity for one bam room fan. It's much more like it uh, from Umban Rumpan. Look at that beautiful attacking cross-court clear into the deep forehand corner of Sabrina. That was well played by the tie. Five in a row for her now. And that's shots I uh, like to see a lot more from her. fighting tooth and nail to stay with the tie here. Well, there was real intent there from the right. Montmartre fan. Very Three, aggressive from 15. the return. Visibly raised the bar here. That's six out of the last seven points going her way. Well, just when you thought Long Bang Room fan was driving the point, Jack Hay spikes back with something really delicious here. Look at this. Good defensive shot. Couldn't take advantage of it though, could she? Quite frustrated with that. 18, Did all the hard work. 16. Shuttles always seem a little bit slow in the beginning of a, a tournament and uh, as the stadium is normally heating up you know with more spectators coming in and all that then the shuttles are going faster and faster however here as you can see we have no spectators whatsoever and we must admit it's pretty cold in here inside the stadium today and uh, I think that's affecting the shuttles a little bit because the shuttle seems to be slow to kill. Yeah, of course, no fans in at all over the next three weeks, we're told. They were due to come back at the start of tournament two. Not so now. The recent uh, outbreak in Bangkok. Suddenly it looks doubtful whether Sabrina is uh, getting more than 17 points. 
Absolutely. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Hasn't she uh, shifted into another gear on Bang Rungfan admirably here? She's got four match points. Still afloat and fighting hard. But three points adrift. Is this where Von Bang Rumfan puts this match to bed? for a kill there from Ong Bang Rumpan. Chose to block it. Oh. Good pressure. Good pressure. Gets there. One court two. In the end, the respectful tie bow from Busanan on Bang Michelle Rumpan. Lee from Canada. Coming through in straight games as she has done in three previous Back. occasions Umbai against today's Rumpan. opponent. She's delighted Umbai. to get through Versus and see what it means to her. Shukran. Relieved more like. So it is... Jacque who goes down and Busanan on Bang Runfan who motors on through bulldozing in Bangkok is Busanan 21 16 21 17 in 37 minutes of action she'll be pretty pleased with that a win is a win and she's through to round two confirmation of the score line coming through just under 40 minutes of play. 